Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Pisces, please? Strength, Leo energy at the foundation. What do we have at the sacral? Knight of Wands at the sacral. Aries, Leo, Sag. What do we have at the solar plexus? You guys are trying to wait for the right time to move here, Pice. Something's going on. I feel like this individual here has really done a number on you guys, and you guys are just trying to hold back here. I'm looking at this yellow, which is all related to the solar plexus, right? So it's all related to your confidence and your personal power, right? It's all related to your drive. But it's like you're holding back. There's a holding back energy from you. And this energy, this relentless energy is still coming at you. This is somebody here who's putting on a smile. They're just waiting for the right time. I feel like this individual here you're dealing with is relatively dangerous. I'm focused on the snake wrapped around this tree right here. This could be a female, male, female, it doesn't really matter. There's something going on here, some sort of smoke and mirrors. But it's like you've seen this person. Oh, you know what? I feel like you've seen this person for who they truly are. You figured out what they're doing. King of Swords at the heart. But you're afraid how this person is going to react if you tell them what you know. So you're just moving very carefully. You're being very intentional with every step you take here till the coast is clear. Wow, what the hell? Yeah, look at that. Three of Pentacles in reverse at the throat. This is somebody here who's gotten hip to the fact that this person here has done something trifling to them behind their back. If it's a romantic situation, this is somebody here who's been cheated on a lot, okay? Relentlessly is what I'm getting here. This person here knows. And rather than start any confrontations, because I feel like this person here is relatively dangerous, they're just planning very carefully so they can get away from this individual in a safe manner. What do we have at the third eye? Whew. Right. Devil in reverse. Right? So this is somebody who's trying to leave an abusive situation. That's what devil in reverse is at the third eye. Uh, because it's at the third eye, I just feel like this is something this person intuitively knows. They might not have three-dimensional material evidence. They just know. You need to trust your intuition here, Pice. Trust your intuition. Because right here, this is telling me that it's absolutely correct. Page of Swords, wow, at the crown. So this is messages from the divine, right? This Page of Swords at the crown. So this is the divine showing you right? This prying eyes energy. It's like the divine has given you a look into what this person was doing. Quite possibly through the dream state here. I'm focused on this lover's card here, which is giving me kind of a dreamy energy, right? It's like the divine illuminating to you. This, It's like the divine illuminating to you. This person is a snake behind them, right? That they're actually a snake Okay, what do we have at the foundation from the occult tarot, please? Nine of Wands, Marcosius. So this is all about you keeping these boundaries, right? While you're still here, right underneath that strength, like I was saying, at the foundation. So it's like confirmation. What do we have at the sacral? 
This is somebody who's moving in silence. Maybe this person was doing something really trifling behind the scenes. So this is like um, High Priestess in Reverse, Dantelion. This has come out twice. It just came out in the, um, I think it came out in the Cappy reading. This card doesn't come out a whole lot. But when it does here, this is somebody who's like living a, well, I always get two messages from this High Priestess in Reverse. It's somebody who's living two lives, right? There's the person they present to you and the person who they truly are, right? This demon. And it's also somebody who's trying to block your intuition with severe gaslighting, right? Maybe you've seen little clues here and there in the past and you've said stuff and then they try to say things to you. They, they attack you, right? As a way to divert any sort of responsibility or any sort of illumination on the trifling acts that they're actually doing behind the scenes, right? They throw it back on you like, oh, you're crazy. How could you possibly ever think that when everything you're saying is actually truth, right? So by doing this, it causes you to have a blocked intuition. This person, I feel intuitively knows that you're starting to get these messages from the divine about them, right? Here's these messages coming through and then here's them right here gaslighting you, telling you that everything that you're getting intuitively or everything that you're thinking or saying to them is incorrect, that you're crazy, right? Gaslighting, severe gaslighting. I feel like this has been going on for a while, too. What do we have with the solar plexus, please? Five of Cups, aim. You are definitely this person's narcissistic supply. Look at, there they are. Riding around in their snakes. Those snakes are their narcissistic cords of attachment. They throw those at you to suck back high vibrational energy from you, Pais. Right? And see that peg in their hand? They jam that in your heart, right? Get more high vibrational energy. This person could smoke a lot. Might have weird feet. Overgrown toenails. Maybe a little patch of hair in the middle of their chest. Male or female, doesn't matter. Some wispy kind of hair. Maybe they're losing their hair. Big ears, I don't know. Maybe a... They kind of look like they haven't slept in a few weeks. I feel like the truth about them is showing up in the way they look. It's like you're starting to see them in a different light now. You're actually starting to see the demonic possession that's actually inside them. This is the divine helping you to see the truth. What do we have at the... Heart, actually, let's switch to the Heaven and Hell Tarot. What do we have at the heart, please, from the Heaven and Hell Tarot? What do we have at the heart? It's too many cards. What do we have at the heart, please? What do we have at the heart, please? So we have Renov, which is Eight of Wands, Sag Energy from the Occult Tarot Slavery. And then we have uh, Uretel, Propagation of Light, which is Page of Wands from the Angel Tarot. So we'll start here with this Eight of Wands energy. So this is them, right? You're stuck in this kind of like slavery energy, right? Every time you say something to them, they're like, yeah, I don't know about that. You know, maybe... Maybe you should go talk to someone, you know? It's kind of crazy that you would think I would do something like that, right? But there was something about them that always gave it away, right? It's like they... It's like they had their finger in their nose, right? It's like it was written all over them that they're just kind of trifling and gross, right? And look, one arm's bigger than the other. Why? Why is one arm bigger than the other? Because it's like they're doing something in the dark, huh? Right? Maybe this person has like a, I don't know, maybe a small forehead, right? There's sort of a lack of forehead there. Have a small brain. Propagation of light. This is the energy that you're now stepping into. Okay, so this is you stepping into this very active energy. You're acting now based off of what you're getting intuitively from the divine. Propagation of light. You've seen the truth. 
You don't need any sort of confirmations from anybody else, especially this energy. All you need is your connection with the divine. And you're starting to realize now that all the truth that you could ever possibly want comes through to you by way of your intuition, right? By way of the divine. Eight of cups at the throat. And there you are. Pouring out that cup. You're like, I knew it. I knew there was nothing in that cup. It was just dust. There's no water in there. Transformation gives consolation in adversity, right? This is you seeing the truth, accepting the truth, and now moving forward, right? So the Eight of Cups is all related to, it's all related to learning, right? Moving on now. It's like you're withdrawing from this energy. For some of you, you guys could be getting a divorce. Some breaking of some sort of contract. Three of Pentacles in reverse at the throat. What do we have the third eye? Wheel of Fortune, Metatron. The Divine saw all of this. The Recording Angel. This is what Metatron is. Advancement and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. I feel like the Divine literally showed you everything through your intuition or dreams what this person was doing to you. You know, every time this has happened to me, it's happened a lot, where I've been shown through my dream space or intuition what people are doing to me, I've never been wrong. I have never once been wrong. I've always been right. And every time I call these people out on it with detail, it's like I can see the details through my intuition or through my dream space, they look at me in this with this face like, how could you possibly know that, right? You know, my last um, girlfriend... She cheated on me, right? And the night she cheated on me, she never came home. And I was sleeping. And when I was sleeping, I woke up from this dream. I was all sweaty. I woke up from a dream of her in a hotel room cheating on me. And then she showed up the next morning. And um, something was off. We ended up breaking up like a month later. And she ran off with the guy she said she didn't cheat on me with. But then about six months after I had that dream, and she was already taken off with this guy, she uploads a video to YouTube and she says, oh yeah, I totally cheated on my boyfriend with you that night. And the truth came out. It's like she just says it through a YouTube video. This particular YouTube video got like 350,000 views. And there she was bragging about cheating on me. I was completely right. And the way she spoke about it in this video was exactly as I saw it in my dream. I always trust my intuition now. Always. Always trust your intuition and your dreams, especially if you're nurturing that. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like I nurture my intuition. I live a life to where I am constantly thinking about how my intuition functions so I can do these readings for you guys with precision so I can have a very clear channel with the divine because it's my job, right? This is the same for you guys. You need to trust this. Trust what you're seeing. What do we have at the crown? What do we have at the crown? What do we have at the crown, please? Five of pentacles. Okay, so this is all about this hope returning now. Okay, you leaving this situation, stepping into a new life, getting away from this lesson learned, karmic cycle over. Okay? This is a crazy energy here, Pisces. You guys are going to be on all different um, parts of this journey. Some of you are still dealing with this. Some of you have already left this. Just know that whatever the case, wherever you are on this journey, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Okay? All right, Pisces. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Pisces. Take care.